Hey guys, Ollie here. I'm a filmmaker, I'm an editor. I've kind of done a lot of things over the past few years. I never knew his name. That's part of the deal. One thing I wanted to make a video about is film school. Especially now with COVID, a lot of people are taking classes from home, you know? So a lot of people are not even going to campus. And I was wondering like, is it even worth it anymore? So I want to talk about my experience, whether or not it's worth it to go to film school. And it might help one of you make your decision out there and could possibly save you thousands of dollars. So out of high school and even before that middle school, I always dreamt about going to USC film school. That was my dream. I got into other colleges uh, right off the bat for after high school and I was not happy. In fact, I remember I went to school in Virginia with my dad and we were touring, we're in orientation and I on the flight home, I was like, yeah, I'm not coming to the school. He was like, what are you talking about? You got to this university, what are you doing? I'm like, it's not my dream. My dream is to go to California. And at that point, I hadn't even applied to USC just because, you know, my grades, I didn't take high school that seriously. I didn't feel, you know, confident in my application, the money. Uh, so I decided to drop out of that university before ever enrolling, came back home, Texas, where I was living at the time, go to community college for two years, even though my parents were pretty mad about that decision because they thought, they didn't understand at the time that I could transfer later. They thought I was just going to do a two-year degree and that was it. But anyway, so I went to community college for two years. I took it extremely seriously. I ended up you know, thankfully came out with like a 4.0 when I was applying. And so that helped later in my application process. But also another thing I did that at the time, which is really important, is I made sure not to take a single film class in community college. I wanted to take history, philosophy, everything I was possibly interested in, theater, acting. Uh, so that way when I went to film school, I had all these other subjects that I was already interested in and informed about that I could make films up. At least that's, that was my hope. Eventually I transferred out of community college to USC and I went straight in as a junior. So I saved, you know, two years. I was a lot cheaper, obviously. And I was at USC for about two and a half years. And from there, I, I was in class after class. I uh, had an amazing time. And truly, I can say it was one of the best years of my life. You know, from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to sleep, all you do is talk about film, watch film, think about film. It, you're surrounded by it. And not only that, you're surrounded by people who take it so seriously. You know, I grew up uh, in this like suburbs of Texas. Not many people take filmmaking seriously, when you, especially when you say, oh, I wanna be a filmmaker, I wanna be a director. A lot of people be like, okay, this guy's wasting his life. You know what I mean? But to be in a place and in an institution that was structured completely about cinema and, and filmmaking, it felt like, wow, this is such a breath of fresh air. When I go home, I don't get to have these conversations my mind was just like going, you know, and I, I was meeting so many people from all across the world, not just America. And my experience was just enriched as a person, not just uh, as a filmmaker. Those are two of my first points I wanted to make, which is the benefits or the pros of film school is community and networking. Community is being surrounded by like-minded people, smart people, hardworking people who all love the same thing you do. And that sort of keeps you inspired, you know, the people, you're the equivalent of the five people you have around you. Now imagine 50, 100, 150, all doing the same thing. That gets you out of bed in the morning. As opposed to after film school, when I came you know, back home to Texas, it was really hard to have that motivation and you kind of feel alone for the most part. So community is such an under talked about aspect of the creative field. You know, We always have this image of the lone artist working alone in a room, alone in a studio. That doesn't really exist. I mean, that to me, that doesn't really appeal to me. What appeals to me is like talking to so many people, talking to other artists, talking to other creatives and just kind of being in it together. The vibe of, hey, we're all in this thing together. We're all trying to achieve this dream together. Not the lone wolf idea. So community was such a huge reason why I wanted to go to film school. And the other reason is that community turns into your network, essentially. A lot of times when I was in LA, people thought networking was going to parties or going to events where you say, you know, you put on an name tag and say, hi, my name is so-and-so. To me, that's not really how I see it. To me, networking is, looking horizontally, not vertically, looking at the people around you doing the same thing at your same level, working together and you move up together. That to me is the best version of networking as opposed to trying to go to some merch producer or director or whatever and saying, how can I get an internship? Can I get a, that might work for some people, but I think the long lasting relationships is the way to go. In my opinion, I hate the word networking. I prefer to call it relationships. So cultivate those relationships. And do you need to go to film school for that? No, you can do that in your own city, in your own towns, find people online, especially nowadays. Um, I can't tell you how many times after film school I've created little communities online. I found just on my last film alone, my composer was from LA, my sound designer was from Brazil. So when was the last time you saw it? Yesterday, they brought him to me. Who? Who brought him to you? My children. 
<laughs> the internet is creating different kinds of communities, and so that's something to think about. Do you need to be in a in a you know a physical location to have a community, or can you do it virtually? That's up to you. For me, I think the world has changed. You can totally do it. You can start virtually, but I think at some point you either want to meet, you want to have a Zoom, you want to have that face-to-face, -face or you know you want that human connection. So that's networking and that's community building. The other thing that isn't always talked about with creatives is deadlines. Some people see deadlines as a bad word. I can't live without deadlines. If you tell me here, have a project or make a project, but you don't give me a deadline, Oh, see me in five, year, five years and I'm still working on it. You know what I mean? So deadlines is your friend. Every semester you have to do a project. Every semester you have to turn in a script or a short film or something. Without those deadlines, I don't know if I'm, I would have made as many projects as I would have, you know, had I not gone to school. And so deadlines are incredibly important for me and it's something I still try to set for my own projects now. For example, it's like, oh, by September I'd like to have this or by December I'd like to have this. They're completely arbitrary, I can change them. But if I, if I start becoming flexible with them, then my mind knows, oh, he doesn't really mean it. He's not gonna actually do the thing that he said he's gonna do by the time he's gonna, he said he's gonna do it. So deadlines was something that was really ingrained in me in film school. Like literally, we'd work until the last hour and they would physically come to the editing lab and take our hard drives away. So that really ingrained the sense of, oh, you have to meet your deadline. So a, a lot of the things that are sort of the intangibles is what I got from film school. Yes, the, the classes were okay. Some were great, some were not. Um, you can probably get the same information from books, like you know, you can learn screenwriting from this book right here. Um, everything you need to know about directing, this book right here, and I can go more in depth with uh, future videos, but the information, it's on YouTube and it's in used bookstores. So if you're going to film school for the information, save your money, save your time, go to your local used bookstore and click on YouTube, you'll find it. That's not what you go to film school for, in my opinion. You go for community, you go for networking, you go for a structure, you go for deadlines, you go for you know, kind of a structured system of learning to where instead of maybe being self-taught over 10 years, they shrink it down to five years. You know, there's a lot of other reasons people go to film school. There's no secret knowledge with filmmaking. It's, that was the one mistake I think I made. Before going to USC, I was like, oh, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna graduate, I'm gonna become the next Spielberg. Well, that didn't happen. All film school can do for you. I'd I, I never forget. I think it was like a few weeks before graduation, I had made my senior thesis film, and there's three of us directors in the, in the workshop. And our directing professor said, look, film school only teaches you the fundamentals. It's up to you to learn the rest for the rest of your life. It's a language, it's a craft. You have to spend the rest of your life really developing and learning. You're not gonna learn that in two or three years. Film school is just the fundamentals. And I never forgot that lesson. And so I've really tried to stay in the student mindset ever since. I still keep like read and rereading the books, watching the interviews. One cool thing that film school did was always invite uh, guest lecturers, you know, so sometimes you'd have literally like Spielberg come in or, you know, famous directors or writers or whatever, and you get to hear them talk. Well, guess what? A lot of those are filmed and a lot of those are on YouTube. A lot of the ones I attended are actually on YouTube and I've gone to revisit them just to remember what they said. It's insane how much knowledge is on the internet. It's insane how much knowledge is in books. And so you can create your own guest lectures by watching director interviews, commentaries, uh, master classes online, especially now during COVID, there's so many free events, there's so many free webinars, there's so many master classes. The information is out there if, if that's what you want, if that's what you're missing. If you're missing everything else, go or create it for yourself. Just understand the concept. Understand the concept of deadlines and self impose them for your friend. Call up one of your friends, call up one of your buddies and say, hey, I need you to hold me accountable. I have to submit a link of a film to you or a script or something by this date or something bad might happen. Publicly shame me. Here's that embarrassing photo of me posted online. I don't know. Do whatever works for you, right? And look, people always, you know, I always see those lists online of, here's the directors who didn't go to film school, the Tarantinos of the world, the Chris Nolans of the world. Okay, well, there's also other lists of the directors who did go to film school, the Scorsese's, Ryan Coogler, who just directed Black Panther. There's so many. Both lists have incredible directors under them, incredible writers, incredible producers. You know what else both lists have? people who did go to film school and never made it, or people who didn't go to film school and also didn't make it. Going to a school or going to a college, going to a degree does not guarantee you any success in any field. I've had several jobs in the industry. I've worked freelance, you know, doing weddings by myself. I made short films, music videos, whatever. And you know the one thing that they all had in common? 
Not a single one ever asked me where I went to school or what my degree was or what my GPA was. It doesn't matter. Think of it as a gladiator school. You go just to sharpen your skills. If you have the skills, if you have the portfolio, no one really cares that you were in a classroom and you took notes on a laptop. So at the end of the day, the choice is yours. My opinion, if one of my you know siblings or a friend or a cousin or whatever was telling me, hey man, should I go to film school? I would say, read these 10 books, watch this playlist of you know YouTube interviews and master classes and workshop, and then go make a lot of films. Get your phone, get some sound equipment, get a shotgun mic, get a lapel, whatever it is, and go shoot film after film after film, and that's the only way you learn. That's the only way I learned, because at the end of the day, film school, university, college, whatever your field is, it's like anything else. You get out what you put in. And I'm still here on the journey, I'm still learning, I'm still making my film. So that's it, if you have any questions, please leave uh, comments below and I'll be happy to answer them. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe. And be sure to check out my most recent short film, The Lamb. I had a lot of fun making that film. Check it out, and if you have questions about the making of, please hit me up with comments or messages. And see you next time, take care.